right guys so uh, we made it into the store we was able to find all of the items um, that we're gonna need um, I chose to go to Lowe's uh, it was pretty easy to find the stuff um, if you're familiar with Lowe's I mean you really just need to hang around the lumber section uh, you'll be able to find um, you'll be able to find the post 8 inch post got a yardstick if you don't already have one uh, you need some quick setting concrete you're also going to need some gravel and you're going to need a rubber mallet so that you can bang the post down um, into the right setting right height but um, fairly inexpensive I mean I think the post is almost 20 bucks but um, the gravel is like five bucks the yard stick is you know you can get a cheaper one a wooden one of these and it's like a dollar this one's like three dollars I needed one uh, in the garage anyway so I decided to just grab a, a better version but um the rubber mallet is a little bit expensive actually this is like 15 bucks um, I'm sure I could find a better one, a uh, cheaper one than that, but I didn't feel like uh, walking in a store anymore. So, here we go. I think we have everything we need. Now, let's get back to the house and get digging. Alright guys, so I kind of got started without you, but um, <laughs> I thought it was probably a um, good idea to uh, bring you into this part of the process. So, I got home with all the stuff from Lowe's. Um, and I was able to, um, you know, what I did was I measured the post. Um, I measured the post. It's an eight foot post. Um, and so I measured it, um, to see where my cutting edge would be. I don't have a fancy, uh, cutting table or anything like that. So I'm literally just winging it here on the grass. But, um, so it needs to be about two feet deep um into the into the ground so i measured that out that's about where the this line is here where the um the sleeve from the new mailbox is going to start so it should hit the ground this part of it should hit the ground right about this line um and then everything here is going to be in the earth um and then um so here um about here is um where the top will be um and the mailbox you know the top piece is going to float in um to the section here so i need to cut this piece off um, i have a hex saw here um from lowe's that is very handy um, i already kind of got started with the cut um it works just fine um there's other ways to do this but for me this is all i got and it's actually working out pretty well so um i'm going to go ahead and keep cutting this down um take this piece off uh, and then we will go about removing the old mailbox um, and uh, removing the old mailbox and getting this one put in. So hang tight, watch some of the process, and um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Alright guys, so there you have it. Cut it off. Hex saw man. This works great. Alright, so we got that cut. And um I think we're all ready for the next step. Alright guys, we're back in the house. Um I decided to go a different route uh with what I was originally thinking as far as um, finishing this job so I kind of started outside um, with the project but after thinking about what the end result is going to look like um, I thought it was better to come back inside assemble the unit itself the mailbox itself uh, so that we know exactly how big it is um, and then we can take that outside and uh, put it on the street so we know exactly um, what we're working with as far as height goes um, it, it became pretty clear when I went out to the to the old mailbox to try to gauge you know about where things would land when I was done that I wasn't I wasn't 100% sure where things were going to finish so 
instead of trying to guess for it, you know, you don't want to just, you know, wing that part of the job. You want to make sure that you get all the facts. You want to make sure that you take your time. Don't rush it because then you're not going to get the results that you're, that you really want. So, um, I decided, uh, to come in. Let's wrap up or let's get the mailbox assembled first. Um, we've got the post cut. I think the cut that I made is going to be just right. Um, and so we get the post or we get the mailbox done. We take it outside. We're going to essentially drop it over top of the post, uh, the new post that's out there. And then we can see exactly how much, um, height it has. Once we factor in, you know, we want the base of the post to be about 24 inches into the ground. The rest of it should be exposed above ground. Um, and then we can see exactly how high it's going to be um, on street level. And another thing you want to think about is, okay, when you're getting mail, you're usually getting it from uh, the street, not necessarily the sidewalk, in which the sidewalk is just a little bit higher because it sits on the curb. So, you know, that's another thing to factor in, you know, uh, for shorter folks. My wife's shorter than me. I'm 6'2", but my wife is 5'5", five five, so not even 5'5". Five five. So if she's going to get the mail, I don't want the mailbox to be so high that she, you know, she could barely see into it. Um, so some things to think about when you get um, down this to the step in the process. All right. So let's go ahead and try to put this together. Um, I've got all the parts uh, that we're going to need right here. I've got my trusty tool bag right there. Um, let's see how long this takes us to get done. Hopefully not too long. It's not a lot of parts, um, but you never know these things. All right, let's get to it. Gotta drill more holes. All right, welcome back. So um, I wasn't able to finish the job yesterday on the mailbox. Um, I ran out of sunlight, um, so I had to park it um, and wait for uh, the next day. Um, I just got done wrapping up work for my real job today. So I figured I'd go ahead and try to get this mailbox in uh, while there's still some daylight. Um, hoping it doesn't take too much work and effort for that um, but we're gonna find out Oh wow, that's it! You could have kicked it over though. Wow, that's 
more fun. <laughs> you need to dig a hole? Oh, <laughs> Three people doing that today. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. We was able to put this thing together. Um, it looks great. Um, it went in really nice. Um, you know, I had to make a couple adjustments, um, leveling and things like that, but big upgrade from the, uh, from the original mailbox that we've got down here to the one we've now got on the street. So, one crappy thing, uh, you know, we've got the we've got the silver address placards, but they gave us a gold flag, and there was no option when we ordered it to get a, a silver one. So, we're gonna have to customize that um, on our own. But um, nothing I'm not down for. So, there you have it, Whitehall mailbox installation. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Let me know what you think. Uh, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to answer. Uh, but all in all, this turned out really well. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. One more thing down. Dad life. See you guys next episode. Well, bud, you helping me out? Oh, well, you're doing a good job. Oh, well, good job, bud. Cameron. Don't touch it, okay?